realizing that he didn't have to do it, but he did. And I'm glad about it today. It's beautiful out. Um, I was saying I got up running this morning. My grandson had to be at work. In that hour ahead, oh my God. He said, I just feel like I just went to sleep. I said, yeah, no. I said, but it's time to get going. The birds are singing about 5 o'clock this morning. If they sing melody and praise to God, what more we? Amen. Amen. So he's allowed us to come together one more time. He's allowed us to come together and lift his name up. Amen. Praise God. Bishop told me, he said, it's on you today. You ready? I said, you know, we were taught to be instant. Be instant. Just pour some hot water on it. Just pour some ready word on it. And we'll go forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
able to quench every fire. Lord, we thank and praise you for who you have called us to be. We thank and praise you because you are God and God alone. And truly, there is none else besides you. We magnify you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, for Christ's sake, let the church stand. Amen. Praise God. We ask that you remain standing. We're going to read the word of God. And I'm, I'm going to go to yes. Psalms 34. Yes, Lord. And it just simply says, I will, I will. bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And all times, his praise yes. shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Yes. The humble shall hear thereof. And be glad. I won't be stingy with them. There's enough for them to go around. He's a one size fits all. So I say to you, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name. For the writer said, I saw him with tears in my eyes. And he heard me. Not only does he hear you, but he answers you. I just wanted to read those few passages to encourage you that no matter what we're going through, God's going to take us through this thing, and better is the end of the thing than the beginning thereof. Amen. Amen. Praise King. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Beautiful. Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you, Father, just for allowing us to be here again, Father. 
together with you guys once and for all. So just get on one accord with us as we go into worship. And talk with God and communicate with him through our worship. Amen. Yeah. 
I was thinking about him being a father to us. Yes. A father to the father. A mother to the mother. Yes. I was thinking about how we're moving forward and different people are taking the vaccine shots and different people yes. are not. It really is an individual thing. It really is whatever you and God decide. But as I was thinking about our Father in heaven, and as I was thinking about his glory, I said, you know, the last four years it was like we were left with a bad parent. <laughs> Shout, shout. 
shout, shout. Yeah. We're going to praise him and never get tired. Yeah. My God, what a reunion it will be. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. What a great family reunion is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a time. Yes, Lord. We're going to have a shut up time. Yes, when we go sweeping through that city. Yeah. Mother Crockett used to sing that song. I won't be back. I won't be back. I won't be back. No more. No more. No more. At this time, we're going to change the order of service. We're going to let you know our announcements are as follows. Bible class is on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Sunday school, Sunday morning at 9 p.m. And then there is prayer service on Friday evenings at 6 p.m. We ask that you govern yourselves accordingly. I always say we have so much to pray for. You know, we don't go to God with our wish list, but we go asking the Lord to have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon our loved ones. I got a call yesterday that a um, young lady's father fell down the stairs and he's got a brain bleed going on, but we know God. And he's able to touch from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. So I ask you to keep Brother Solomon Ramahad lifted up in prayer. My uncle who is at SCI Albion called and said he tested positive for COVID. But there's nothing too hard for God. Pray for my uncle Craig Carson. Um, continue to pray much for one another. It is blessing time. <laughs> the Bible says it is more blessed to give than to receive. And you're going to be left in the hands of the usher. Ask that you govern yourselves accordingly. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you get your, if you have an envelope, put it in your righteous right hand. You know your hand of a power, your hand of authority. We ask that you lift it up to the Lord. And if you don't have anything, we ask that you lift your hand, your righteous right hand, up to the Lord. Because the Lord knows and the Lord cares. Amen. Father, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of shed blood on Calvary to bless what we offer unto you in tithe and offering. Lord, you said in your word that you would give back 30-fold, 90-fold, 100-fold. Lord, you will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask of thee. Give and it shall be given to us. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. Will you cause men to give to us? Father, we ask that you bless right now in Jesus' name and in Christ's name. Amen and amen. So let me hear you say, bless, bless, bless.
in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says, Lord, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. I can truly say I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. The Bible says, for us to enter his gates with thanksgiving, and to enter his courts with praise. And I want to say, praise ye the Lord. Praise Him for His excellent goodness. Praise Him for His wonderful acts. Praise Him because He is God. And there's no one else beside Him. He's the God of the universe. He's the God of your situation. He's the God of your healing. He's the God of your deliverance. He's the God of your present help in the time of trouble. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Somebody say, He is good, and His mercy endureth forever. Amen. Let us just clap our hands in the sanctuary on today. Hallelujah. We've already made a joyful noise. <laughs> uh, we already made a joyful noise. Thank you, Lord, and we already gave Him thanks. So we want to uh, honor our First Lady on today, Lady Tracy Quinn. We thank God for the evangelist Arrington. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Pastor Doug said it with her words, and I said it with my mind. Seems like we was at the same time. We miss her voice. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Miss her words of encouragement. Uh, when we were in my office, she came back there to touch base with me. And just the voice radiated strength in him. Just make you want to stand up and do right. Make you want to live holy and pay attention to the Lord. Amen. Thank you. That's a gift. Amen. That's a gift. Uh, to be able to speak words of life, to encourage you. Just the hearing of your voice causes you to, to pay attention. Want you to come up high. Hallelujah. Uh, words of expression. Come on, just give God a praise. We praise God for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank God for Mother Davis and our sister here on today. Thank you, Lord. We praise God for our, our media team. And we certainly thank God for the clock's being back in the house. Amen. Sister Matt was singing better than the clock sisters. <laughs> Amen. Put it out there on the praise team. Thank God for our praise team. Amen. Uh, amen. She's gone natural on us. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I said, ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Thank you, Jesus. So we sing and thank him and praise to God for each and every one of you. And God is good. And I said, God is good. Uh, I literally uh, meet myself on last week. Uh, I couldn't even count on my hands. How many people came up to me and said that they were praying for me on last week? Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord gave one individual a revelation on how to pray for me. And you know that, that just encourages my heart. Amen. That just does something for me. Because, you know, on this battlefield, when you're on the battlefield for the Lord. Uh, and as uh, Evangelist Harrington was talking about the satanic attacks, they want to come up against you. But we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We know that if God be for us, who then can be against us? And when you can pray for me and pray me out of trouble, pray that trouble don't come around me, can pray that the Lord keep me, amen. Thank you, Lord. That's encouraging. The Lord be able to lay us on his heart, on your heart. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. He even had one bishop. He said, he, he said that uh, the Lord had caused him to, to pray. I just wanted to, to read what he said. I like the way he said it. Thank you, Lord. He said, uh, we made mention of your name before God. Oh, well, that's not beautiful. Yeah. Now, over in Africa, yeah. we made mention of your yeah. name before God. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when people make mention of your name, let us pray for one another. Yeah. Amen. Let us encourage one another. Uh, we're not in this thing alone. 
Amen. Tell your neighbor, I'm not in it alone. Uh, yes, Lord, and I'm in it to win it. Thank you, Lord. We're here to win it, to fight this good fight of faith. So we praise God even for a new stage. Um, I ask you all to pray because we had the inspection for the daycare from the city to give us our occupancy permit. And guess what? We passed. <laughs> God is good. God is good. Thank you, Lord. And that just took us to the next step, took us to the next level. Because in, in the proposal, in the plan that uh, the architect wrote up, he, he wrote up in the plan that we'd be making our upstairs uh, for business use. Amen. So that way we'll be able to rent our offices for uh, our programs and, and mentorship and things like that for people in the community. So, you know, this is truly going to be an icon. Hallelujah. God is doing great things. God is doing mighty things. Thank you, Lord. I, I know, I, know uh, I was going to call the Minister Clark there. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling everybody preachers. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm going to encourage him to hang his shingle. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And Brother Dave, Dave got to do some therapy. I'm on my own hand. I want him to hang his shingle, too. Thank you. Just get $200 of rent a month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amen. God is good. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Evangelist Erickson, she can hang her shingle too. Don't fool yourself. Amen. She got some words of, of therapy. She can therapize you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we certainly praise God. The plans of God is moving on. Amen. So let us, let us continue to pray. Let us continue to be encouraged. We're also uh, working with uh, a sound man. He's going to be helping us with our sound up in here. Amen. Our speaker system. That's why we haven't uh, went ahead and purchased any speakers and things like that. We're researching it. He's researching it. He's finding out. Amen. So we can tame this building. There's a lot of echo up in there. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and we're, we're researching it. Daniels, and uh, uh, we're working on it to help tame this building, and the, the research guy, Russ, and uh, he's the one that came and, and did the funeral here, um, so there's a lot of information, and uh, Minister Grady's giving me some great information on how to tame this building, so, uh, so that we'll be able to have some great worship in here, amen, hallelujah, uh, so we can do some things. So God, God is on the move. Yeah. Amen. Your times and offering, they're not going in past the Quinn pocket. They're going, they're going in the household of faith. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I realized a long time ago, we take care of God's business, He'll take care of our business. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And don't forget, the, the major plan, um, I'm hoping it happens all in June. I'll be able to come off my secular job and be a full-time pastor. Thank you, Dan, where I can spend all my time with y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. But you know, I, I, I won't get to preaching in a minute. Can I just talk for a second? My, my goal is, is to be here uh, from, from like uh, 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock, and then uh, have y'all come in and get y'all some coffee, we'll sit down and talk. <laughs> that's my goal. That's my goal. Be here when you call me. Amen? My wife's looking at me. But I want to be here too. <laughs> Thank you. Just come on in. Dave, he like to run around and come by here, come by, drop in. Hey, Pastor, how you doing? We'll sip on some coffee. We'll talk about the goodness of Jesus. Amen. We move on. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's, that's my goal. That's what I want to be. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So y'all pray. Y'all pray with me. Y'all pray for me. Amen. So as we get ready to go before the Lord, we want you to remember that uh, prayer is on Friday. Friday is 6 o'clock. We call that our faith hour. We talk a half hour about faith, the Bible, amen, and then we spend the other half of the hour praying. And that has been effective. 
Thank you, Lord. It has been, it has been a beautiful time. Thank you, a beautiful time in the Lord. So I want to encourage you to come. Amen. I want to encourage you to come. And then on this Wednesday, we're going to be back in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, in the middle of the chapter, and we're going to be talking about marriage. Amen. We're going to be talking about marriage and, and family. It really, the, that particular scripture, it deals a lot in about submitting. Amen. It deals about submitting. How the husband, the wives are to submit to the husbands. And the husbands ought to love the wives. And how the children ought to submit to the parents. Amen. And the parents ought not to provoke the children to wrath. <laughs> This deals with submitting, and then it deals with submitting uh, how to submit to your employer, things like that. So that's what that scripture is talking about. Then I love it because we're going to be after the, the that fifth book, we go to the sixth chapter, and then it's going to be talking about warfare. Amen. So how many of you know we we need some warfare? We need to be learned how to be able to fight. Amen. Fight against the wiles in the hand of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. And as we get ready to go before the Lord, uh, we just had a business meeting. <laughs> as we get ready to go before the Lord, I just want to uh, encourage you to pray for the vision and the mission of this church. Amen. Pray for the unity that we have one with another. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You, you in something great. You in something mighty. Uh, and God, God, God is not a God that, like she said, you can't just keep them to yourself. Uh, I mean, God has blessings for each and every one of us. Uh, value your position. Value your spot in God. Amen. Uh, and then help your brother or sister. Hallelujah. So that we can grow higher in the Lord. How many of you want to go higher in the Lord? Uh, how many of you believe that the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is here? And the anointing of God is here. And God is here to help us. Help us, to strengthen us, to give us what we need. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And the more, I'm going to preach in a minute, but the more we, 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 we get into God's Word, the more we pray, the more real He becomes. When we stop praying and when we stop reading the word of God, you can let these things slip and you can, you can in your mind, uh, uh, not, not, not really acknowledge God or not really believe that he is still there. Amen. It's like going about your day, you haven't talked to uh, somebody in a while, you, you forget that they exist, you forget that they're there until you hear their voice. Amen. Uh, so God never wants you to be in that situation with Him. He wants you to have daily contact with Him. As the song says, daily I will worship Thee, Lamb of God. Amen? Yeah, and we need to have daily contact with the Lord. Uh, and see that as vital. Not just necessary, but vital. Uh, vital to our survival. Vital to our next move. Vital to our help. Vital to our protection. Amen? That way you can survive a bad day. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. See, see uh, that's what she said. She's messing with me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. I thank God for who He is. Uh, I thank God for who He is. We want your church to stand. I won't go what I do without the Lord. Oh, I don't know what I do without the Lord. But when I look around and see what the Lord has done for me, I don't know what I do without the Lord. 
Sephatiah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. Nahum, the book of the prophet Nahum. Nahum chapter number one. And then as you're getting that, we also want you to go with us to the book of Proverbs chapter number three. In the book of Nahum, chapter number one, and uh, verse number seven, drop down with me to verse number seven. And it reads as thus, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Can we read that together? The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. And let us read that with our, our preacher voice, our spiritual voice. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, he knoweth them that trust in him. And let us go to Proverbs chapter number 3. And drop down with me to verse number 5. Proverbs chapter number 3 and verse number 5. And it reads as thus, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and not lean to thine own understanding. Yeah. Trust in the Lord yeah. with all thine heart, yeah. and not lean unto thine own understanding. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this word on today. We ask you, Lord, that you sanctify my mind, my spirit, my soul, and my body. Lord, we ask you to grant the door by us that we may feed your great people. Amen. The great people of God. And we ask you, Lord, that you strengthen our hearts and our minds and our spirit, that we might attain unto the things that you have set before us. Because, Lord, we know that you be for us. Uh, that you be for us, that nothing can be against us. Father, we thank you, we praise you, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And I just want to look at that verse once again, it won't be before you long, in the book of Nahum, chapter number one, and verse number seven. And it says, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. And we coupled that with the verse out of the book of Proverbs, chapter number three, saying, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. Scripture also says, and acknowledge him in all of thy ways, and he shall direct thy path. And I want to take a thought from that book of Nehum, Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord is good and a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust him. I just want to take a thought from that scripture saying, shelter in place. Shelter in place. Can we say that together? Shelter in place. Shelter in place. God, God really wants us to trust Him. God really wants us to trust Him. And he has all reason for us to trust him. There's no reason that we should not trust God. God is omnipresent. Uh, he's everywhere at one time. He's omnipotent. Uh, he has all power. There's nobody more powerful than God. And he's omniscient, which means that he's all-knowing. Uh, God knows even our thoughts before our thoughts get to him, get to you. 
God knows. And when we trust in God, or when we trust in the Lord, you should have confidence in His attributes. Meaning that you should have confidence in His makeup, in who He is. God has always tried to reveal Himself to us that we can trust in His attributes, trust in who He is. We know that God is merciful. We know that God is just. We know that God is gracious, that God is fair, that God is wisdom, that God is love. We know that God is a consuming fire, that God is righteous, and that God is holy. And when we put our trust in His attributes, when we put our confidence in who He is, and realize who He is, that becomes a stronghold for us. In other words, when we put our confidence and our trust in God, who He is literally becomes our shield. It becomes our protection. That's why the scripture says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every time that rises up against you, God gives you the ability or the power to condemn it. Why? Because of who God is. God is more than an equalizer. Amen. He's the sum total of all things. Uh, he's the unmoved mover. Hallelujah. In other words, he can't be moved. Uh, those situations come upon you, hallelujah, to try to overtake you, and it seems like you're going down, but God can turn the situation around. How many of God can turn a situation around? When, he, when God says put your trust in him, he's not telling you to put your trust in anybody, hallelujah, because he tells us, don't put your confidence in man, because man has limitations. Man can only take you but so far. But when you're dealing with God, hallelujah, the one that is the Alpha and the Omega, uh, the beginning and the end, the one in whom the angels bow down and worship, 24-7. Uh, yeah. I mean, when we talk about him, he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask or think. Uh, and he'll do it according to the doing or the power that worketh in you. Tell somebody God is able. God is able to do the impossible. God is able to turn situations around. God is able to speak a word in faith. Hallelujah, and things come into existence. How many know God is a, can speak things into faith, into existence by faith? The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Uh, we got to trust God. We got to have confidence in His ability. Uh, the more you understand about God, the more you can trust Him. The more you read about the Lord, the more you can put your confidence in Him. The Bible says that grace and peace comes unto you through the knowledge of God uh, and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, the more you know about Him, you, you know His ways and you know that God is able to do certain things and that you understand that when you're in a rock and a hard place, that this is where God wants me to be. Uh, because you know God. You know God does the impossible. Uh, when we are down to nothing, God is up to something. Uh, you know when sudden trouble comes to your bank account, you can say, Lord, I know this is you, and this is where you want me to be, so you can show your mighty hand in power. Somebody ought to clap their hands and give God, give God some glory. Hallelujah, thank the Lord. And like Job, when Job was in trouble and he lost his cattle, he lost his family members, and he lost certain situations, and, he, and, he, and his body got afflicted, and his wife told him, curse God and die, because he knew God. He said, you talk like a foolish mother. Hallelujah, as you see, when you're in situations and people start talking foolish to you because it looks like you're going through. Hallelujah, you don't lose your hope. You don't lose your confidence. You don't lose your trust in God. In fact, Job said, Lord, I know that this is you. Hallelujah, I know in whom I trust. He said, in this flesh, I'm going to see you. Uh, when you know God, you talk a certain way. When you know God, you walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, my God, who am I talking to you today? Hallelujah, you talk 
nation that is taking youth for such as common to man. But here it is. Your God is faithful. Your God is faithful. Your God is faithful. Your God is faithful. When you're in the trouble, know that your God is faithful. When you're in the test, trust that your God is faithful. You gotta trust that God is faithful. Why is it faithful? Because it won't suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able. And if he's faithful, he's made a way of escape. You wanna give God a praise. He's a fortress. Yeah, he uh, uh, he's, 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 he's a 
that come up against us, uh, that's been attacking us for 20 years, 10 years, 5 years, trying to weigh us out, uh, trying to starve us out, trying to uh, 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 cut off our supply line. But while you in your 20 or 35 year test, God is still supplying you. God is still making a way for you. God is still opening doors for you. Why? Because God is inaccessible. God is that come on, stuff. There's nothing too hard for your God. Nothing too hard. Hallelujah. God is the one that's keeping you alive. Uh, you may be going through some situation in your body. It's God that's keeping you alive. He's your protection. He's your shield. He's your comfort. No matter how long you have been trying to find a protection, it's God. That's the old shot. It's in Him we live. It's in Him we move. It's in Him we have our being. Thank you. And when we think about God as protection, that double shot. Him being a shelter. Hallelujah. You know, a shelter is, is there for temporary purposes. And I tell you, neighbor, my storm is temporary. My storm is temporary. Hallelujah. And he's sheltering me. Hallelujah. Because after a while, it'll all be over. After a while, the sun is going to shine. You go on some facets. You go on some facets. You go 
go out there and say anything wrong. You go on some facets with an S on it. Now wash your face. You go on some praise breaks. That kind of stuff. While you shelter in place, you get you some praise breaks. I'm glad you're so that you can uplift the name of the Lord, so that you can praise Him at all times. The Lord give God praise.
I can do. Amen? Amen. How many have done here? Guys, I've been there for a couple minutes. <laughs> but how many of you say, well, Lord, I ain't going to do that. And then turn around and do it. I've done that. Amen? God knew I was going to do it all the time. But my mind had to be made up. Amen? Uh, my mind had to be fixed. Amen? Uh, if you don't know whether or not you trust God for real until you're in the situation. <laughs> you can sell a whole lot of book tickets. <laughs> Amen? I've had people that I've worked with and, and they, they sold me a whole bunch of them. Jesus. I'm going to make me cut something. They just sold me a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And then you give them the job, and all you see is things. Yeah. Right. Oh, you think I won't trust them? <laughs> think I won't trust them this time? No. Because their actions proved untrustworthy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? But when your actions prove trustworthy with God, God will do everything in his power. Hallelujah. You, and we're not talking about God's power. Uh, you, you can't fathom the power of God. You can't fathom the resources of God. I'm, I'm happy about the stimulus package that they're about to stick out. Amen. I'm ready to get you. Amen. But, 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 but God can stimulate the saints, the kingdom of God. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, that you 
blood washes and cleanses. Yes. That you purchase from all in righteousness. Yes. From every word, thought, deed, and every secret thought. Yes. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you strengthen our hearts and our minds. Give us that mind to trust you. Yes. To believe in you. To trust you with all of our hearts. And not lean to our own understanding. Yes. Bless us, Lord, that we acknowledge you in all of our ways. Yes. So that you can direct our path. We trust you, Lord, that you will lead us beside the still waters. We trust you, Lord, that you will revive our soul. Hallelujah, that you will walk us through the valley of the shadow of death so that we won't have to fear any evil. Why? Because thou art with us. We trust you, Lord, that your goodness and that your mercy shall be with us all the days of our life and that we will dwell in your house forever. And now, Lord, we ask you, that you bind every evil spirit, every demonic power that will come to him. Give us a revelation into your grace, into your knowledge, into your wisdom. Father, we thank you and we praise you. Bless us to love one another. Bless us to have unity one to another. Bless us to bear one another's burdens. Father, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now unto him that's able to keep you from falling. To present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, to him be glory both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, just love on somebody.